Life is like toilet paper. You're either on a roll or taking shit from some asshole. So this is one of these videos where I don't really put too much emphasis on my opinion. This is this is a feedback video that I want to get y'all opinion, the Rebel Gang, and anybody that stops through. Now that um, 140 pound division has four different champions, and the one that's deemed as the most dangerous is Subriel Matias, okay? The hard hitter, um, nearly 100% KO ratio. Well, actually 100% KO ratio. He's knocked out everybody that he, he's, all his wins have been knockouts, you know? If you wanna base it on that and don't count that first, that loss that he got, then it's 100% knockout ratio. And how does he know, how does he compare to the other champions? You know, I kind of gave my piece on that already. But I want to get y'all feedback. Well, on this one, though, we're going to talk about how does Devin Haney do against Subriel Matias if they were to ever fight, when they fight. Because, you know, Devin Haney said he want that smoke with Subriel Matias. How does that play out, man? You got Devin Haney. He's a boxer, damn near a pure boxer. One of the best jabs in the sport. Um, pretty educated footwork. Um, we got Subriel Matias, who has a method to his madness. Um, extreme pressure fighter. One of the best fighters I've ever seen cut the ring off, man. You know, um, solid chin, extremely destructive puncher. Actually killed somebody in the ring. He is the IBF um, junior uh, welterweight champion of the world, and Devin is WBC uh, junior welterweight champion in the world. I want to get y'all opinion on who wins that fight, how they win it, and why. Drop them comments and talk to your boy Rebel Life Boxing, man. I'll catch y'all in the next one, and I'm off this.